nine. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. The Saturn V was the most powerful rocket ever built. The machine that carried humanity to the moon and beyond. It stood 363 feet tall, that's taller than the 36 storey building and 60 feet higher than the Statue of Liberty. Fully fueled, it weighed a massive 6.2 million pounds, that's the equivalent of about 400 elephants. At liftoff, its five F1 engines produced 7.6 million pounds of thrust, generating more power than 85 Hoover dams combined. A car that gets 30 miles to the gallon could drive around the Earth 800 times with the fuel used for a single Saturn V lunar mission. This immense rocket could place 130 tonnes into Earth orbit or 50 tonnes around the way to four school buses on a trajectory to the moon. The Saturn V was developed at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. It was the largest of the Saturn family of rockets following the smaller Saturn I and Saturn IB, which had been used for missions into Earth orbit. But to achieve President John F. Kennedy's goal for landing a man on the moon before the decade was out, NASA needed something vastly more powerful, and Saturn V was the answer. The Apollo Saturn V, America's largest space vehicle, is being developed for extensive manned space missions, including landings on the moon prior to the end of this decade. One of the most important steps in creating a useful space vehicle is the live development testing of the propulsion system. These tests, called static firings, involve strapping down each stage of the vehicle and firing its engine. Its design was groundbreaking. The rocket had three stages, each of which burned for its fuel before detaching. The first stage, fitted with five enormous F1 engines, lifted the fully loaded rocket to an altitude of about 40 miles before falling into the ocean. The second stage's five J2 engines took over, carrying the vehicle close to orbital speed before dropping away as well. Finally, the third stage placed the Apollo spacecraft into Earth orbit and then fired again to send it on its way to the moon. Depending on the mission, the final stage either remained in orbit, re-entered Earth's atmosphere, or was intentionally crashed into the moon so that seismometers left by astronauts could measure the shockwaves. The Apollo Saturn V consists of three booster stages and three spacecraft stages. The primary booster stage is the S-1C. The upper stages are the S-2 and the S-4B. The three spacecraft stages include the lunar module, the propulsion module, and the command module. The first Saturn V launch took place on November 9, 1967 with Apollo 4. This was an uncrewed test flight, but unlike previous rockets, Saturn V was tested all up, with all three stages flown together from the start. It was a bold move, but it worked. Apollo 4 successfully demonstrated the rocket's immense power and tested the Apollo spacecraft's heat shield on a simulated return from the moon. Apollo 6 followed in 1968, another uncrewed flight, to fine-tune the design. The first time astronauts climbed aboard a Saturn V was Apollo 8 in December 1968. Frank Borman, James Lovell and Bill Anders became the first humans to leave Earth orbit and circle the moon, sending back the famous Earthrise photograph on Christmas Eve. The Saturn V had proven its worth. And in March 1969, Apollo 9 tested the lunar module in Earth orbit, while Apollo 10 rehearsed every step of a moon landing without actually touching down. These missions built confidence for what came next. On the 16th of July 1969, Apollo 11 lifted off atop a Saturn V. At 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running. We have a liftoff. Four days later, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to walk on the lunar surface, while Michael Collins orbited above. More than half a billion people watched the event live as the Saturn V fulfilled Kennedy's vision. All right, go ahead, Mr. President. This is Houston out. 
Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made. Uh, I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world, I am sure they too join with the in recognizing what an immense feat this is. Because of what you have done, the heavens have become a part of man's world. And as you talk to us from the sea of tranquility, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this earth are truly one. One in their pride in what you have done. And one in our prayers that you will return safely to Earth. Over the next three years, Saturn V carried astronauts to five more successful lunar landings. Apollo 12 explored the ocean of storms. Apollo 14 marks Alan Shepard's return to space. Apollo 15 carried the first lunar rover and Apollo 16 and 17 conducted extended scientific exploration. Apollo 13 also launched on the Saturn V, but an oxygen tank explosion in the spacecraft forced the crew to abort the landing. Crucially, the Saturn V performed perfectly, placing them on course for the moon and enabling their safe return. April 13, 1970. The mood could only be described as relaxed. Apollo 13, man's fifth lunar mission. The third, scheduled to land on the moon, continued its tranquil coast. This is the crew of Apollo 13, we should everybody there. Uh, nice evening, and uh, we're just about ready to close out our inspection of Aquarius and get back for a pleasant evening at Odyssey. Good night. 13, we've got one more item for you when you get a chance. We'd like you to uh, stir up your cryo tanks. In addition, I uh, have a shaft and trunnion okay. for a look at the Comet Bennett if you need it. Okay. Stand by. Okay, oh, Houston, we've had a problem here. This is Houston. Say again, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main B bus undervolt. Roger, main B undervolt. Okay, stand by, 13. We're looking at it. In total, the Saturn V flew 13 times with a perfect launch record. Its final flight came in 1973 when it placed Skylab, America's first space station, into Earth orbit. That launch used only two stages, but it was still a reminder of the rocket's unmatched capabilities. The Saturn V was not just a rocket. It was a symbol of engineering triumph. Its thunderous launches shook the ground for miles around, and its exhaust plumes created some of the loudest sounds ever produced by humans. Yet it was also incredibly reliable, never failing in flight. The rocket's legacy continues today, and it remains the most powerful rocket ever flown successfully, inspiring modern heavy lift vehicles like NASA's Space Launch System and SpaceX Starship. More than 50 years after it first flew, Saturn V still stands as one of humanity's greatest achievements. It carried us to the moon, expanded our presence in space, and showed what could be accomplished when science, engineering and ambition came together. From Apollo to Skylab, it was the rocket that made history. <laughs>